All right, guys, listen up. So I just submitted a picture of myself about one minute ago to r slash roast me, which is basically a subreddit dedicated to people posting pictures on the internet of themselves. And then people look at the pictures and come up with the best roast possible in order to fucking humiliate them. And you know what? I decided that I already got low self-esteem, low self-confidence. Why not make that even lower? So uh, as you can see on the screen, I made a post on r slash roast me. Don't know if this was a good idea. Honestly, it probably wasn't a good idea, but I'm very curious to see if anyone can come up of anything that's unique. Most of the time, if people are trying to roast me in real life, they'll talk about how I'm chubby, how I'm Asian, how I wear a backwards hat. Very excited to see if someone can actually come up with something that I've never heard before. I'm gonna wait for an entire day before I look at the comments so I have a big surprise and a massive drop in self-esteem all at once. I don't want it to be gradual. I want to look at it all at the same time. So I'm going to check back in with you guys in 24 hours. I don't know whether to be excited to be scared, but uh, these Redditors are pretty fucking savage. The next day. Roast review. I'll admit I did spend a little bit of time throughout the past few hours just looking through the comments because I couldn't help myself. I really wanted to see what was going on. And from what I could tell, there were a lot of just Asian jokes, which was pretty disappointing. Thought people on Reddit would be better than that. A little bit more creative than that, but um, it is what it is. Okay, so as you can see, my title was college freshman with low self-esteem and no idea what I want to do with my life. Do your absolute fucking worst. Yeah, pretty much summarizes me. And let's see what people have to say here. So Platinum Roaster comes in and says Jackie Fortune. So you played the Asian element, so you get docked at at least a point for that already because it's not that original. I don't even know what 4chan is, to be honest, I never used it. I think it's a meme site. Yeah, I know 4chan is like this nerdy thing, so... And I talked about how I use the internet a lot, so I guess... I mean, it's the most popular roast on the post right now. That's creative. I'll give it an 8 out of 10. It's not really low self-esteem. It's more like exactly correct esteem. It's basically implying that I'm ugly by attacking, you know, my, my esteem. So uh, I'll give you 8.5 out of 10. I think it's pretty good. At least you can rule out modeling. So you played on how I said I have no idea what I want to do with my life. Kind of savage, but also kind of obvious. I'll give you 7 out of 10. It's pretty savage, but not creative enough for me. You look like a live action version of Poe from Kung Fu Panda. I have heard that a surprising number of times throughout my life, um, especially just being called like a bear in general, um, because, you know, I have a chubby face. But again, it's just that I'm Asian and chubby. That's literally all it's saying. But uh, because I really do enjoy Kung Fu Panda, I'm gonna give you a nine out of 10. Solve the math equations instead of grousing Reddit, kiddo. Your parents are gonna be mad. Um, so this is the first one that actually states that I look like I'm like 13 or something, which is true. So solve the math equation. So I'm assuming this is just something because I'm Asian. So obviously I'm good at math, um, assumedly. And you know, it actually plays on something other than just blatantly because I'm chubby. It plays a lot of different elements together. I'm gonna give it an 8.5 out of 10. And the kid from Up didn't age too well. Definitely have never heard that one before. Absolutely never. Oh, I got a golden roaster here. That's not true. You have plenty going for you. Your parents always knew you were a disappointment and you're filling those shoes of expectation quite nicely. You know, that one hit a little bit hard. Um, again, being a disappointment to your parents, very Asian thing. It, it literally had nothing to do with what I looked like. It just was about the fact that I, you know, didn't know what I want to do with my life. And uh, that's something that I have to really think about all the time now. So it kind of hits a sore spot for me, even a sore spot than me being chubby. I'm gonna give him a 10 out of 10. He's actually bald under the hat and only keeps those strands of hair for show. You haven't seen nothing like videos to, you know, know that I should have hair under here. Here you go. It looks fucking stupid now because I'm wearing a hat. What will you learn? That your actions have consequences. But I do have hair, I'm not balding. Uh, but yeah, that's actually a pretty clever roast. I'm gonna give you a nine out of 10 because it makes fucking sense. It definitely puts my look into perspective. I know this looks fucking stupid, but I've just grown so used to wearing my hat this way and this hair sticking out that I'm just gonna keep it, you know, probably until I die. Maybe not that long, but you get what I mean. There's always a sumo wrestling career. I'm pretty sure a lot of people down here said like sumo wrestling. I've heard that many times as well. Again, I'm just very disappointed. You know, I expected more roasts about, you know, something actually about my face or just like the way I have come across. I don't know, I'm just a little bit disappointed because I told you guys, I thought Redditors were the most creative people on the internet, especially on Roast Me. And apparently when they see an Asian person, I was looking through other Roast Me posts from Asian people. It's like they can't focus on anything else to roast on other than the fact that they're Asian, uh, which is kind of sad because I expected more creativity. I expected more of you guys. Similar wrestling career, I'll give you a 
five out of 10, that's basic, man. Luckily, life will choose it for you. Tell your boss I'm really annoyed. Last time I didn't get the free drink from my chow mein. Um, you literally, the only relevant detail there was uh, chow mein. So one out of 10, fucking disappointing. You're a fucking disgrace. Oh no. One ton wanton. Because it actually rhymes and is somewhat original, even though, again, chubby and Asian. Uh, I'll give you 9.5 out of 10, honestly. Very good. It's it's very simple, probably not super creative, but at least it's more imaginative than um, sumo wrestling. I will wait for the swelling to go down on what I hope was just a really bad bee sting to the face to roast you. Fuck. <laughs> no! Fuck you, man. That actually is good, man. Fuck. Was it, it didn't involve Asianness, it didn't involve my hat, it didn't involve all that shit. It just was a bee sting to the face. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do, man. You know, I literally, at one point during high school, I looked up like facial surgery for cheeks because I didn't want to always look like this. Yeah, I get very self-conscious about the way my face looks. Let's be real. So again, doing this was probably not the best idea, but again, it's stuff that I've always heard my entire life. So I guess it's not hurting as bad as I thought it would. Low self-esteem. Roast me is the perfect answer for so many idiots just like you. Here's a tip. Do something for another person for a changed narcissist. What? I'm trying to break this down. So low self-esteem. Roast me is the perfect answer for so many idiots just like you. So I'm guessing he's, he's saying that I'm an idiot for having low self-esteem and posting. It's for content though. I wouldn't do this if it wasn't for content. Let's be real here. Thank you. Thank you for assuming I'm a narcissist for posting a roast man. Thank you so much. I don't really get the connection there. Someone wants to explain that to me. If I'm missing something, please explain in the comments. But uh, that's kind of a stretch and a half. So you started off strong, and then you ended with something idiotic. So I'm going to give you a uh, uh, mm, 1.5 out of 10. I wonder if evolution made your nostrils giant to assist in oxygenating your turtle looking face. I know my nose is big. That's just a Chinese thing. My nostrils, I didn't know this until I read this comment, but they are pretty huge. I'm gonna be staring at my nose probably for the next five days. Thanks so fucking much. 9.75 out of 10, good job. Uh, you look like Thunder in Big Trouble in Little China. Who the fuck is Thunder? Let's let's take a let's take a watch. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Who the fuck is this? <laughs> It's gonna stop. Twelve out of ten. It's it's had being lesbian. Um, so your grammar sucked. You couldn't even be bothered to edit your own comment. You're also showing, you know, some um, discrimination against the LGBTs. I'm 100% straight, but I still think that's kind of a fucking dick move. So uh, you get a negative 10 out of 10. Congratulations for the worst roast on this comment section. I think what you can do is figure out how to make General So chicken the same way everyone else does. Bland, dry, and never satisfying. Kind of like you. Damn, man, fuck! 11 out of 10, man. That was, that was good. That was fun. That was just, that's the type of shit I expected. More of that stuff. Not just roasting me because I'm chubby and Asian, but really taking it a step further. You have bigger stuff than most girls in my class. Um, and, you know, you can't even see my chest. In this picture, you can look at it. Look at it. You can't even see my chest. I'm covering it. You can't even tell how big it is, man. Look at, look at me. Very normal. It's like, I'm very normal in that, in that area. Um, I don't know why I'm elaborating on this so much. I should have just ignored it. Jesus Christ. Everyone hide your dogs. I need you to shut the hell up for the immediate future. Um, oh, we're actually in the last one. Um, I'm not going to bore you guys with reading the whole thing. You can pause the video and read what this guy said. But he basically just called me stupid for almost choosing USC over MIT to go to college. And he just tried to roast me based on the fact that I go to MIT. So I just had to respond with a very simple Caltech equals shit. He comes back and then says the word millennial, which basically means that he's a boomer. So I'm not going to listen to him because... Who wants to fucking listen to a boomer when you're 18 years old? He attacked my college, which is, you know, more effort and actually original. So I'll give you a six out of 10. Although you do go to Caltech, 
which means you probably are a piece of shit. All we've learned here is that my hair looks stupid in a hat. Um, I'm chubby, I'm Asian, I'm ugly. Um, I'm Asian and I'm chubby. That's, those are the main takeaways from this video. Kind of disappointed, but I did get a few good punches to the gut. My very big gut, apparently. If you made it this far through the video, drop a like, subscribe, because I know you probably were at least moderately entertained to stick around for that long. And also, if you're still here, feel free to roast me however you want in the comments section. However service level or personal it may be, please feel free to roast me because I want some more creative stuff than what I received here. Stay anxious, everyone. Have a good day. And I'm going to go pursue sumo wrestling right now. Going to take some lessons. Okay, goodbye. <laughs>